beautiful people welcome to my first vlog i'm super excited i know a lot of you have requested for me to do vlogs in the past i'm not a huge fan of vlogs because i see a lot of vlogs on youtube and i think they're really boring i don't care what you're doing with your boyfriend on the weekend i don't care what you're wearing to a party but i do see some excellent vlogs that are really educational and i hope with the vlogs that i do now and in the future can educate and help people women dancers all around the world so the first vlog i'm going to do is taking you guys behind the scenes and my prep for a photo shoot with peter colson peter colson is one of my absolute favorite photographers to work with he's gonna love me saying that i can see him smiling now he is and specialist in black and white photography he's absolutely amazing guy and I'm flying to Melbourne in a week's time to shoot to do a two-day shooting with him we've worked together a lot um, I think we've done about three or four big shootings together and honestly they are the most challenging photo shoots I've ever done because they're just so strenuous in the body Peter and I are both very particular and perfectionist so we do whatever it takes no matter how sweaty peter is no matter how my body is dying we do whatever it takes to get the perfect shot and i think in the past we've done pretty damn well So I'm going to share with you guys a bit of how I prep for a photo shoot with Peter. I usually start prepping about two or three weeks before. Uh, the first thing I do is check my diet and cut out a lot of saturated junk food, fatty things from my diet, which people don't believe me, but I'm such a deep fried fan. I usually eat hot chips about every second or third day. So it's the first thing that has to go, which is really, really hard. Um, another thing is I seriously can't go a day without eating chocolate. I don't know how people don't eat chocolate. So I cut that out of my diet as well. I generally have a really healthy balanced diet, but then I eat, like I say, some junk food on top of it. So just cut back on the bad things. I don't drink, stop drinking any alcohol. I make sure I'm getting eight hours sleep a night and my training increases. So I usually go to the gym three times a week. I always do 20 to 25 minutes of interval running. So instead of doing that three times a week, I'm doing that now five times a week. And I also increase my workouts. I do my own workouts. I do my own Train Like a Ballerina workouts. So I increase that again to five and I'm always make sure I still have two days free. I think you always need those two days free to really recover, especially if you're training really hard. So it's been, it's a week now until my photo shoot with Peter. So I started really training hard two weeks ago. Um, and yeah, I hope I can show you guys some of the training that I'm doing in the build up to it. Um, I also make sure I'm stretching a lot at home every night because we do a lot of crazy flexibility stuff in these photo shoots as well as strength. So guys, I'm super excited to show you behind the scenes of my shoot with Peter. We're actually doing two days of shooting. In the past, we've only ever done one really long day. Usually, I can hardly walk after it. Um, I usually take about three or four days after a shoot with him just because it's really strenuous on the body. If anyone, if there's any dancers out there who have done dance photography before, you know how strenuous it can be. The main reason is because you're doing the same movement over and over again, sometimes even for an hour or two hours. Like I said, Peter and I are such perfectionists, so if we don't get the perfect photo, we just do it over and over until we get the perfect shot. So doing the same movement over and over again is really hard on the body. So dancers, I, if you are out there and you are doing a dance photo shoot, I would love to give you the advice that make sure your body is extremely warm before any photo shoot make sure you're doing like me a big preparation for it don't just go into a dance photo shoot hoping that it's going to be successful by whacking your leg that's where injuries come from um, I've definitely done that before injured myself in photo shoots and I don't want that to happen to any of you guys so that's why I hope this vlog is going to be very educational for non-dancers as well I think it's really great to see behind the scenes of a photo shoot like this because it is such a big production Peter and I have a lot of fun together so hopefully it's also going to be pretty hilarious well, I hope so. We always have a lot of fun. But for all the photographers out there, it's also really great to see how amazing Peter is and how he works. So enjoy this vlog, guys. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Morning guys, it's day one of two days of shooting with Peter Colson. I arrived yesterday in Melbourne and I'm heading into his studio now for day one we're doing dance photography. It is gonna be a pretty tough day, I'm not gonna lie. This tops of 30 degrees, so it's gonna be very toasty, but I'm excited. Okay, so first step, both got some inspo of the last couple of weeks. These are our favorite shots with some beautiful dancers and models. I'm gonna try to redo some of these great shots today. Now I better get warmed up. 
I've just finished warming up and now I've done my own hair and makeup. I actually don't even do any hair and makeup to be honest in Peter's shoots. And yeah, we're gonna get going for the first dance shoot. Now that see that my heart is gone big Everybody was close to me, all stayed on dry land. Now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just let up you something. No, no, this is no, this is every bit. I'm so happy I filmed you pulling that face. <laughs> Zoom in on that. Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here, chilling with my friends for another year. I would walk away from the spotlight for the good life. Be my lover, yeah. be my best friend. I will wait on your border until you will let me in. Hand on my hair, chest on my chest. To the sound of voices and of drums I will show you how the West was won We left New York City with our windows down We couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud I will stand on your border and I'll search through the clouds Yeah, we left New York City with our Am I allowed to post this? Yes. So Louise had too much to eat at Christmas time and can't, this is her trying to dance. So 
I'm recording whenever you want to do stuff. my second day of shooting with Peter I am absolutely exhausted my body is so sore today we did a bunch of fashion uh, really cool fashion editorial shots which was really amazing to do really different from yesterday doing dance photography all day so I'm really excited to show you guys the end results after he's edited them and I hope you enjoyed this vlog guys I really hope it gives you an insight into behind the scenes of how a dance shoot is done I hope you guys learned something especially photographers out there as well and yeah Peter Cost will also be doing a vlog up on his YouTube channel as well so stay posted for that bye guys Turn your head.